Saturday night, the Super Modifieds roar at the Steel Palace with limited supers on the card and many special championship events. There's only one home of the Super Modified, Oswego Speedway, Route 104 East, Oswego. On July 4th, 1953, Nolan Swift drove his famed 10 pins into victory lane for the first time at Oswego Speedway. When his career ended nearly 25 years later, Swift would amass an amazing 83 wins, second on the all-time win list and just nine victories short of the late great Jim Champagne. Swift is the only driver who was a consistent winner both during the stock car and super modified eras at Oswego. He won stock car championships in 1953, 54, 56, 58, and 61 as well as scoring the victory in the 1960 International Classic. During those years, Swift was the man against whom the other competitors prepared for battle. Swift versus Bellinger, Swift versus Murphy, Swift versus Bloom, and later Swift versus Blitz. These were the rivalries of the 1950s at the Steel Palace. During the pivotal 1961 Classic, Swift turned in one of the most impressive runs of his career. Although he finished second, he battled the lighter, more powerful fuel-injected supermodified of Art Bennett to the wire in one of the most hotly contested classics ever held. Mechanic and race car builder Bill Wright from Syracuse was a partner in Nolan Swift's success through the famous driver's story career. In an era when aftermarket racing parts were virtually non-existent, the Bill Wright prepared 10 pins was a highly reliable and consistent machine. It virtually never broke down. When the Speedway went to open competition back in 1962, Bill Wright removed the stock car body from the 10 pins to reveal a full tubular frame race car. The chassis was designed and built by Wright and Swift after a visit to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and a stroll through the gasoline alley garages back in 1959. As successful as Swift and Wright were in campaigning stock cars, they were even more successful in the Super Modifieds, winning track championships in 1964, 1966, and 1971. It was during this period, however, that Swift became known as Mr. International Classic, winning five more of these prestigious races in 1963, 67, 68, 71, and 72. Two of the most memorable ones were in 1968 and in 1971. Swift qualified 68 out of 69 cars entered in the 68 Saturday time trials. Swift, Wright, and the entire 10 pins crew worked through the night virtually rebuilding the car and engine. Qualifying through the Concy, Swift started 34th on the field and scored a stunning upset victory over a very competitive field that included Todd Gibson, a 13 feature winner that year. In 71, Free race favorite Swift spun out in turn one early in the Classic, losing two laps in the process. He made up the laps, took the lead in the last five, and recorded his fifth Classic win.